The clamor of siege warfare thunders across the battlements of Bloodguard. Kordeskul Ullok, the lash master of the Bloodwake orcs, cowers behind his walls, knowing full well what has come for him. The eyes of the spinner in darkness have affixed themselves upon his city, upon him, and they hunger for him, and they will have what they desire. The unbeheld encircle the city even now, and soon it will fall, and he will share the fate of every other godeer or champion that has stood against the spinner in darkness. So too will a similar fate befall Avernos. Avernos has betrayed its masters, and it will suffer the same consequences. Welcome, my fellow children of the Spinner in Darkness. It is the Ash Heritor, and today we are going to be doing a whole lot of violence. Much violence. In fact, I predict most of this episode is just going to be violence. I hope you enjoy it. So, we have a couple of sieges that we gotta do. And uh, let's start with the destruction of Avernos here. This is going to be a rough fight. So I'm going to retreat here, and I'm actually going to use my magical supremacy to uh, get some work done. So we're going to drop a Prelude of Doom on Ella Grainworth's army, and then we are going to drop another Prelude of Doom on the other army to wreck their morale. This means they are more likely to flee. We can also... Ooh, but we're going to be attacking two settlements at once, so I think I want to save my Prelude of Dooms instead of using other spells. Because I could drop some other spells on them, but uh, let's let's wait on that. And we're going to uh, we're gonna hit we're gonna hit Avernos with our uh, our main army here. So this uh, this should be good. Should be good. Alrighty then. What are they up to? Nothing good. I'm sure. All right, many many forces are advancing. What's she gonna do? Oh, she's gonna come in and attack us that way. All right. Uh, well, prepare to be charged by a whole lot of stuff. Maybe we can kill her, kill their leader in the opening uh, throes of this battle. That would be nice. So, starting things off, we'll drop a psychic gaze on you. Unfortunately, we didn't end up uh, marking you. I am going to conjure some fighters right here are not actually going to launch the main attack on them, because, uh, let's see, we have Einbis Unfound. Einbis Unfound, I could send up to there to plug the gap, or I'm going to have her summon a spider as well, actually. Okay, I'm going to have this spider drop and immobilize. Do I want to do that? No, no, I don't. We're going to have this one charge right here. Ow! Apparently, she doesn't care that that was flanking her, whatever. Well, she'll be dead in just a sec, because we're going to sweep around back. It's not going to get her, though, is it? Shit. What about this? It's going to deal some damage, and then can you come in? Yeah, you can. All right, perfect. Down she goes. Ella Grainworth has fallen. Their leader is down. We will uh, summon up a little baby spider here, which is going to move up and hopefully draw the attention of those knights. I wouldn't be surprised if those knights are like, yeah, nah, and go around, which would be the smart thing to do, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, the enemy doesn't always do the smart thing, as we know. Uh, webs aren't going to work here. I could get the charge. I could. Then we could kind of box them in there. Could be kind of cool. Uh, what can you do? Corrupt soul? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because um, they're going to be spilling through this way. And they do have ranged units. No, that's not a ranged unit. That's a night guard. That That's, that's a ranged unit. No, that's a thrall. Okay. Do they have any? They got Warlocks here. Those are more Night Guard. Uh, I don't think they have much ranged. We've got their Giant over there, but we're going to ignore that for as long as we can. Are there any spells we could drop? Well, there's always Cause Despair. I do like Despair. And if we drop a Despair right here, that's going to hit three units. That seems valuable. So the morale is at very low. Good. I wonder if we can already kill something. We can almost kill that unit. I bet we can, actually. That's a Scout, though. It's just Light Cavalry. I don't know if that's worth killing. What about from here? We could drop a uh, poison dart on you. It's not going to do all that much. But we're going to charge. We're going in. And I'm going in because then they can't get their charge off. Or at least not without provoking a, uh, an opportunity attack. I'm going to come here to prevent my uh, cavalry from being flanked. And our corrupt souls are going to come this way. 
And our, our Durgan is gonna go over here. Our Durgan's gonna go over there, and it's going to, unfortunately, not breathe toxic sludge in that direction, because it's only gonna hit one unit, and that's not really worth it. Uh, do we have anything else? A bone Dragon? Yeah, just go defensive. And that's our turn. Alright, so, now we wait for them to do their thing. Hopefully they're not gonna be able to get too big of charges against us. I, I don't know. Okay, Sundered Resistance, that's fine. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mm, I don't like that. What are you doing? You're gonna conjure a totem, huh? Alright, that's fine. It's, uh... Those are pretty useless, aside from being speed bumps for the AI. And I am not an AI. I'm superior to an AI in, uh, some ways. Okay. They have Giant Slayer. This was actually not the best engagement for them. Uh, but we should be okay, because they weren't really able to charge... No. Alright, their morale is already, uh, not doing all that hot. So we're gonna capitalize on that and drop another Cause Despair somewhere. Where, where can we do it? Could do it there, could do it here, uh, or we could do it right here and hit, like, three of them. Alright, so the morale is at very low now. Very good. Um, and our despair-eating troops can come in right here. They unfortunately can't kill them, but... It's, uh, it's gonna be good enough. You can go in, dish out some damage onto that unit. And you're gonna do this. Nice. Alright. They're not too happy about that from the looks of it. Okay. We could do a tail swipe here. It's not going to do all that much damage, though. What about what about the, the poison breath? It's also not going to do all that much damage. Yeah, it's going to be this one. They're going to get their attack off. Unfortunately, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. So we're going to dish out more than uh, what they can take. And uh, I think we can finish this knight off with the uh, the throwing knives here from our headhunters, which is a very cool ability, by the way. So that's another unit that is uh, gone. We'll pull our pikemen up in that direction because I think we have a uh, kind of a... What, what, what do you call it? Flank overload? It's not really a flank overload, though. What, what is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's something. Let's, let's throw a web over the walls here. Dish out some damage. Okay, so the Warlocks are immobilized. Uh, our Hunting Spiders can actually get behind their lines. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna jump right on over. And attack those Knights. I'm attacking those Knights so that those Knights can't relocate. And attack us. Although I think their, like, morale is pretty done. Einbus Unfound, you can get in there. Can we just do an assassinate? Maybe that'll just straight up kill it. 44%, let's give it a try. Oh, they're just dead. They're straight up dead. All right, send her in. That was awesome. Okay, we'll send our Vampire Spider Hatchlings to hopefully distract the, uh, the thing. Okay, that unit's webbed. Don't want to do that. Now, what can you do? Pull up a little. Only get a... 45% chance to hit him. Just do it. It's two hits. It's pretty good. And we'll send our big old vampire spider over there. Should be fine. And our dark knights have both done their webbing. So what else do we have? We've got our dread spider matriarch. You advance. And uh, that'll be the turn. Yeah, they're not looking good. I think their army is routing. The majority of them are. I think they're giants still holding. But uh, yeah, they're in full retreat. What was that? That was a cool noise. Okay, they might kill that, uh, hunting spider. But that was a summon, so... That's okay. Alright. So, let's, uh... Ah, that's an enemy unit. I thought it was mine. Mine is here. <laughs> so I gotta kill that unit. Um... Let's actually demon step right in the middle of them. Let's let's demon step there, actually. And then she can kill that unit. Okay? And then she can already hit them again. I mean, might as well. Alright. You can... Yeah, just get the full bang going on here. Triple attack. 
Spiders can come in, but if the spiders, if the little spiders attack there, we won't be able to get our big ones in. But what about our big ones? Can they drop a, a good web anywhere? You know what? I'm going to web that unit, and then I will send in the little ones. They'll, they'll, they'll do enough damage. It's not dead. I don't know. Never mind. It is dead. Good on you guys. All right, get up there. Vampire spider, matriarch, you're going to throw a web. Uh, it's going to deal some friendly fire. Or we can do it there and not do friendly fire. And actually, Tyrant Knight, just charge. Good damage. Retaliation canceled. Good stuff. Dark Knights, pull up this way. And Watcher, let's not zoom in on it. Drop a uh, Psychic Gaze on that one, see if we can't stun it. Unfortunately, it did not work, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. We're doing pretty good. You, charge them. Shadow Legionnaires get in there. And then we can have our uh, Corrupt Souls, I think, finish them off. Good stuff. And our Dark Knights here are going to advance up in that direction, while our Headhunters are going to move behind the enemy here. And are going to teleport right here and do a Ruthless Execution. And they're dead. Cool. Bone Dragon is going to... Uh, advance up in that general direction and I don't think we need to use any of our spells right now because this is this is over there the morale is uh the morale is good it's it's a I'm glad the mechanic actually works well that we're able to just cripple their morale and you know feast on them as they flee it is pretty glorious okay you uh you did some some damage there I don't know why that turned that unit around but uh Okay, dealt a little bit of damage. All in all, not that much. Did inflict fumble onto my guys, which is unfortunate. Okay, the totem is gone, and I think it's our turn. Okay, Einbis unfound, just kill them. And once you've killed them, you can move once more, because you're awesome like that. Dark Knights could go in for the attack. Dish out a little bit more damage. Could send these Dark Knights in. Let's do that. Do it that way, because I think we can kill this this turn. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. Down they go. Uh, don't claim victory just yet. There are enemies left that must be feasted upon. Okay, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to catch that one. Anything here still? Yeah, we got you here. The Banneret Knight. You gotta die. Have our Shadow Legionnaires take some hacks at them. And we can have our, uh, our Bone Durgan finish them off. Very good. And our Corrupt Soul can, from a distance, use Crippling Anguish to instantly kill that unit. 58% chance of death. Well, still dealt a good amount of damage. And you can come in and mess them up. Why don't you kill the, uh, the Spearman here? Again, the more units we kill, the better. We'll advance up this way. Can we hit them with the, the Throwing Knives? No. All right. We're going to pull through. You're going to pull through. Watcher here is going to advance. And I think that's basically all that's worth doing. So let's end our turn. Some of them might get away. That would be unfortunate. Now they got to run down. Oh, yeah, you're screwed. Never mind. You're not getting away. That one might. That one I imagine probably will. I don't think we're catching it. Sadly. Unless there's some way that I could cause my guys to move faster, or I drop like a final ultimatum on them. Might permanently mind control it. Yeah. Oh, it just died. Okay. Well, that's fine too. That's ultimately what I wanted. So, take some hacks at this guy. Good. The bone dragon. Take some wax at this guy. And then, lastly, my Dark Knights are going to finish them off. Wonderful! No survivors. That's that. No casualties. The enemies have been defeated. And let's immediately level up Einbis Unfound to get your level 12 ability here. We can give you Reckless Rage, but that's going to decrease your defenses, which I don't like. So I'm actually going to give you Rallying Blessing instead. It's going to affect friendly units, granting them Rally, Bolstered Defense, and Bolstered Resistance. Because that's more of her style. She's got three level up points. That's pretty cool. We're going to give her Defense 5. And uh, 
Ooh, what do we have here? Omniguard. The hero becomes aware of all that occurs on the battlefield around them. They cannot be flanked unless stunned or frozen. If this is chosen, all other capstones are locked from available traits. That's really good. These are the other capstones, I guess? Yeah, that's capstone, and this is capstone, so let's quickly read through these. Brittle regeneration. Um, makes you more susceptible to damage, but grants powerful regeneration. Loses 4 defense and 15% evasion. Not a big fan of that. But 18 regeneration. Not as big of a fan. Okay, and then we have defense max. Gains 3 defense and 15 evasion. That's pretty good. I'm going to take Omni Guard, though. Because that's awesome. Wait. If this is chosen, all other capstones are locked. But it didn't lock it. So, I guess I'll take it? I don't know. It let me have it, so I'm not going to turn that down. Cool. Avernos is ours. We will now raise it to the ground as punishment for uh, its rebellion. We have also completed mass innervation, so we need to, I think... You have acquired yeah. Get ourselves a new tome. So I'm going to not... Well, now I've accidentally Those clicked that one. The art of summoning will always have ready allies, though perhaps not entirely willing ones. Demons may be terrifying to some, but if properly summoned, they are the most valuable minion a godia can find. Well, of course, they would rather rend the flesh from your face if they could, but they cannot. So the point <laughs> is moot. <laughs> Uh, I accidentally clicked this, so this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Demon summoning. I mean, why not? Sacrificial slaughter? That sounds fun. You can turn one of your units into a uh, bomb, basically, uh, which is cool. We have founded an outpost down in the depths, so I will immediately construct some palisade walls here. And uh, with a new update, if you check this out, where we can expand. Yeah, look at this. You can actually build your teleporter like, like so, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to drop a teleporter right there. Which is immediately going to unlock a uh, baby caustic worm. So you're going to go and assist in the defense of that. Meanwhile, Olmok the Distant, you're going to go carve out this territory here. So we need to get over there and clear out that monster den before it causes us any grief. Though it can't cause us any grief from where it is. So maybe I don't need to do this. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go back. Oh, I should have grabbed that. That was foolish. Well... I've built the Root of Shadow. We're good to go. We have six out of nine tracked on our Magic Victory, so we can start building the next stage of our Magic Victory thing. I won't do it until I've defeated... Um, what's his face? Torbeld, the Liar, and... Uh, the other guy. Leofric Shale. Because, you know, they're, they gotta die. So, we've already built the Root of Shadow, so what do I need to build now? Don't I need to build the Heart of Shadow? Is that how that works? But I can't. Do I build that in the same city? Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You can expand? You can expand, alright. Uh, yeah, do it. Why don't we take this territory, because it's there, you know? It's a quarry. A uh, little, little spider, you're going to go and participate in uh, garrisoning this city. Looking good. Do we have anything else that can expand? A ruined province can be rebuilt. Uh, yes. I'm not sure why that's ruined, but apparently it was ruined. And the sacrifice infestation has gained a uh, slot here. Oh, hello. Let's build a conduit on this astral dew, granting us plus 20 magic and plus 10 research. Sounds good to me. We'll drop that right there. Vernos burns. I'm going to retreat my troops to the portal network so that they can, uh, first off, recharge, and second off, uh, defend the city against hostiles, should that be necessary. Now, the real question. So first off, I'm going to drop an Earth Shatter here, because this is going to hit every single enemy army. Will it hit mine, too? Enemy army sustain 10 physical damage. Awesome. It's barely any damage, but, like... It's a lot of damage, because that's a lot of units that are taking 10 damage. <laughs> and now, and now, we will do some more Prelude of Doom. So, uh, there's Korsgul Ulok's army right there, I think? I don't know. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of orcs riding chickens, and, uh, you know, I want to just make sure that they're all demoralized. 
So we'll drop one there. I can do a few more. Just want to make sure everything is sad. You as well. Fantastic. You too. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, that I think is our uh, our whole thing. So, uh -huh. do we begin the onslaught? Walls have been breached. Question is, who's going to do the breaching? Obviously, it's going to be Asha, Shadowbiter, along with uh, Moloch, Shadowbiter, and Sinarix, Curse Weaver. So this is going to be a fight of fights. We have Korsgul Ulok, Kaya the Vanguard and Horik the Shining. Along with a whole lot of dangerous units, they have an entwined scourge. I don't even know what that is. We're just gonna jump right into this. Let's go. Second second big battle. I, f I reckon when we besiege this, because there's so many enemy armies here, that we're gonna actually have to do like two of them. Oh look, all of their ballistas magically malfunctioned. What terrible timing. I wonder what could have caused that. All right, so their whole army is decayed and poisoned. That's delightful. That was uh, that was our doing, by the way. So the enemy is advancing. They're going to probably pull up to their uh, slightly broken battle lens. I'm just looking where my heroes are. We have uh, we have Sonarix here on the northern flank. Asha leading the attack with uh, Moloch Shadowbiter on the southern flank. Good stuff. Good stuff. Who are you? Is that Course Ghoul? Are you here? Did you just suicide? No, that's Horik the Shining. Okay, hopefully Kors Ghoul is going to do the same thing. Alright, he's chucking some fire at my big fire-resisting giant. It does turn him around, though. So I imagine that's, yeah, that's like the chaos. Um, th these little jerks have that ability. Which is, uh... <laughs> very annoying. Okay, they're coming. Oh lord, they're coming. I'm not overly concerned. I think we'll be just fine. So, I can now move. There are many things we can do here. So, as the Curse Weaver, we could do Mana Unchained. Friendly units in a one hex written. Nah, that's, that's not great. Phase to target hex. Spur to action could be nice. Let's actually wait and try and get a spur to action going, because I want to mess up this hero for his impudence. He charged well ahead of where he should have charged. I don't want to engage... Eh, I kind of have to, though, unfortunately. Hmm. So they're not going to be able to get a charge off, which is very sad. But I could hit him with this. That's going to be a lot of damage. This uh, Dark Surge deals damage to enemies in a 2x cone. Uh, deals double damage to enemies with negative status effect. Yeah. That's a lot of damage to him already. So we're going to do that. That way we don't need to charge him. Uh, this thing's going to pull back, or it's just going to use its... Psychic Gaze. Right there. Now he's stunned. Alright, so he's out of the picture for this turn. That's good. Which means I can just drop these webs right there. We don't need to worry about him right now. Our little spiderlings are gonna go and gnaw, nibble on him. I don't know how they're catching that bird up there, but, uh, you know, let's not think about it too much. And Cenarix, you're gonna just summon, summon some baby spiders here. And the baby spiders are gonna go right on the edge of these caltrops here and hold their ground be a uh, sacrifice for the cause. We're gonna spit a icy web at that one. I'm not sure it's gonna do anything. Didn't, but, uh, you know, it dealt some damage. And here, what are we gonna do here? We can jump up behind him. Let's do that. And then let's, let's, let's give him a nibble. And you are going to summon some little spiderlings. And these little spiderlings are gonna go stand on the edge of the caltrops once more. And we're gonna to summon a runestone right there, right in the middle of things, just to uh, get them in the way. And I think I'm going to summon another runestone right in the way. Just to piss them off. You guys can lob some webs at those units. Wow, that messed them up. Summon some uh, baby spiders. Wonderful. You can go and finish that unit off, I guess. Yeah, do it. They're, they're exposed anyways. So let them die, and now you are in an exposed position where hopefully... You'll take the bait. Uh, we can drop some webs there. Let's do it. Good. That unit's immobilized. Moloch Shadowbiter. Can you shoot already? No. Summon a... Actually, summon a big animal. You gotta... 
because the animal summon is better. So that's a tier three unit. Yeah, it's a magical unicorn. We could attack. I could just kill that unit, but it's immobilized, so I don't need to worry about it. Or I charge here, but that charge is really not doing much because the charge is blocked. Okay. So perhaps let's not charge. Let's send the magical unicorn on a deep flank. Meanwhile, our spider knights are going to advance ever so slightly, along with the rest of our spiders. And we have the Asha the Revenant here. Asha the Revenant can already engage. That is that is unfortunate for the enemy. But we're not going to just yet, because I want to summon another unit of spiders. So these are the ice spiders here. Uh, I could drop a web there that'll inflict some unnecessary friendly fire. And so what I'm going to do is just charge. You know, it's an expendable unit, so... You can also advance to here. The Hunting Spider Matriarch, good stuff. Uh, let's move this one up to here as well, because this one can leap. Actually, it could leap right now, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to wait for them to come to me. Same with you. Unicorn, going to defense. All right, we could cast. Question is what? Ah, oh, well, the answer to that is obvious. Despair. Where do I want to drop the despair? That seems like a reasonable place. Let's let's despair their left flank. See if we can't get a full flank collapse going. All right. How is this going? Yeah, you're probably going to kill that unit. My poor poor spiderlings. No. I don't know what's happening. Okay. So they're summoning uh, Ice Spider Matriarchs. That's concerning. That's uh, some pretty high-profile uh, summons there. Nice. You just friendly fired your own guy. All right. Wasting their webs on my totems, which, uh, you know, got to get those immobilized on the totems. That's very important. So props to the AI for, uh, you know, using solid strategies against me. You know, the, the totem mobility is really... It's really just a menace, otherwise. Okay, what are you doing? Ah, good. You're attacking my uh, my cannon fodder. And now it's my turn. Well, regrettably for you, sir, is uh, you're going to die. Wait, it's still not my turn. I thought it was my turn. I was lied to. Or maybe I just lied to myself. These things happen. Now it's my turn. Okay. Well, we can pull up to here. We can do a magical leap right there. And then we can do a rear charge on this ice spider here. It's going to deal a little tad bit of damage. And then I want to drop a web here. That's also going to hit my unicorn, but I don't care. Unicorns are prey animals. They're horses. They're mammals. They deserve to be eaten. Now let's send in our little hatchlings there to uh, gnaw on their carcasses. And we can go with our big ol' spider knights and deliver a devastating charge onto these ice spiders here. Or on the, to this singular ice spider matriarch, I should say. And uh, let's summon another spider. I know he's an archer, but he's got all these summons, and we may as well use them. So, pull up here. And you can charge. It's going to dish out some pretty good damage. But I can do better, I think, because you can get in there and dish out the charge. And then we'll be forced to go around him, which will make him basically move a tiny bit faster. Oh, the charge is blocked by terrain. Fuck. All right. Well, it's still going to do good damage. And he's not enjoying himself. So, uh, Ice Spider here. Yeah, just attack this wall. Screw it. I mean, who likes walls anyways? Go over there. You are going to go all the way that way. And then you're going to jump over there. Okay. And then you're going to... Take a, a bite out of that unit. And by bite out of that unit, I mean eat them whole. What can we do here? You can charge that thing. Spirit Wolf, do it. Let's break its uh, retaliation. So now my little hatchlings can come in and feast upon it. It's nearly dead, but not, not quite. Not quite. So our, our matriarch is going to advance there. The Shadowbiter... 
It's gonna pull right here because there's a nice group of three of them in a row, right? You see, you see what I'm seeing? You see this? I see this. And I think dropping a baneful curse on them all to sunder their resistances and remove their bolstered defense means we're gonna be dishing out quite a bit of damage. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> All right, uh, that was lovely. Now, what do we feast on? Let's eat this spirit wolf. Now it's dead. Good stuff. And our little buddies here are going to go and uh, attack the uh, the spiky hell pigs, while our ice spider here is going to gnaw on these walls and tear them down. What can we do here? We can kill that. Do it. Three sixty no scope them. Uh, this one? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna 360 no-scope these, uh, these wolves here? No, apparently not. That was, that was unimpressive. Then we'll have our, uh, our hatchlings do it, which will leave our knights open for a big, fat charge right here against these hatchlings. They're dead. I would have liked to charge that one, but we were out of range. And our ice spider can come in here and, uh, kill those. Wonderful. Now... As for the Curse Weaver, what are you going to do, Curse Weaver? I think I know what you're going to do, Curse Weaver. You are going to grant an extra turn to our knights here, so that our knights can get a charge on that one. Isn't it marvelous? Wonderful. And what else are you going to do? You could launch an attack. We could phase to somewhere. Nature's Avenger. It's not going to work. It's not going to do enough from where we are. Uh, just, just do an attack then. Little, little itty bitty attack. Actually, you can kill these pigs. So, just finish them off. Wonderful. They're now misfortuned and dead. Oh, oh yeah, we have onagers too. Jesus, I totally forgot. Uh, what do I want to do with them? Is there anything I want to hit? Yeah, we can kill that unit. That'll also hit the, the wolf down there. So, I mean, may as well. Cool stuff. And we got ourselves another onager. So, let's drop that right here for just... Full on damage. It's not much, but it's something. The enemy is already fleeing, so this is going quite well for us. Because we can kill, of course, Ghoul a little lock. That would be amazing. So they're fleeing directly into us because, of course, they, they need to flee the city. Because the city will fall. They can't hide there forever. All right, that thing's apparently still able to act. Uh, that spirit wolf died of old age. And uh, by when I said that thing, I mean the entwined scourge, that that thing, whatever it is. I honestly don't know what it is, but uh, it's got to die. So let's charge it with our spider knights. Good, good damage. We can get our uh, ice spiders here to kill the ice spider, the rogue ice spider matriarch. Lovely. A little bit of justice there. Now, does this course go a little lock? No, that's Kaya the Vanguard. All right, Kaya the Vanguard. Uh, sadly, you must die. If you were expecting mercy, I'm afraid you will find none. Hmm. Okay, we'll shoot that one. It's basically if I kill something, I can shoot again. As we just see right here. Then I can shoot that one. Beautiful. Oh my god, he's so good. All right, uh, pull here, jump right in front of it, and give it a good nibble. Uh, fire giant, smash. All right, that's that. Now, your core's going to lock, aren't you? All right. Knights in for the kill. And, uh, well, we know who's actually going to get the kill. And that is, of course, going to be Asha the Revenant. This is going to inflict some friendly fire, so maybe I'll move here instead? Uh, I, yeah, no, I can go here. And then it won't inflict friendly fire. Delightful. Goodbye. Of course, Ghoul Lock has fallen. He has been... smited. Smote. As of those jerks, they're also dead. And our Tyrant Knights can come in and charge the Ice Spider Matriarch, and the Magical Unicorn is actually going to get the, the final blow on it. And is there anything left? Like, what, what, what is still here? Ah, the Thunderbird. Uh, we'll let the uh, hunting spider eat it. Okay, we still have a dread, an enemy dread spider matriarch. All right, so there's still a few enemies left. 
That's fine. Uh, curse weaver, curse weaver. Are you gonna are you gonna do anything to it? We could. No, I'm gonna sundering curse it. Because why not? And we'll we'll let one of our watchers have at it. And we'll just eat it with the ice spider matriarch here. Why not? Good stuff. That should be it. That is it. They're dead. No casualties. Tons of resources going to the city of funneled webs. All in all, a slaughter. And Korsgul Ulok is down. He still has some forces left, but let's quickly check our levels here, because we have some heroes that have leveled up. So, Moloch Shadowbiter has leveled up three times, apparently. That's pretty good. And uh, we're going to give him Blink so that he can uh, move about with relative ease. And then we can give him some abilities here. Let's give him... What does Avatar of Nature do? Base attacks have a 60% chance of inflicting poison, decayed, weakened, or immobilized for three turns. That's awesome. We're going to grab him that. And then we're going to grab him Archer 5. Okay, so these are his capstones from Archer. Aran Askaida. Your strikes against max health targets deal an additional 40% damage and a 15 extra accuracy. That's awesome. Gala Thende. Secret bow style that increases the archery range by three hexes and accuracy by 10. That sounds really good because most of the time the enemies aren't going to be at max health because I'm very able to soften up these armies before he ends up being able to shoot because mostly he's summoning for the first like turn. And then Quen Lathari is, yeah, close range, 30% uh, damage from within three hexes. Now I'm going to go for the long range. Just give him uh, a lot of uh, versatility. All right. So, that's good there. We have uh, Cynarch's Curse Weaver has leveled up. She gets her new level 16 thing, which is going to be Visions of Woe, which six range, all enemies in a one hex radius fumble their attacks for one turn. Sounds great, plus it's thematic. And we now give you the abilities that you need. Um, what's it going to be here? Demonic Anthem. While this unit is your army leader, friendly non-fiend and non-hero units in your army transform into tier 1 fiends upon death in battle. They have a small chance of transforming into tier 2 fiends instead. That's awesome. I'm taking that. What is emergency rations? Summons a Gortusk piglet to target enemy to target adjacent hex that gets one hunger per turn. Okay, she has enough active abilities, so I'm just going to give her some like passives. I think. We'll give her the Wisp Familiar. It's an extra tier 1 unit, right? Alright, uh, who else? Signature skill is available. Or Olmok the Distance. So they've, they've decreased the amount of uh, levels you need for a signature skill, which is cool. So instead of 5, 10, 15, and 20, you get them at uh, 4, 8, 12, and 16. Which I think is good. We're going to give him uh, Demon Step. Because Demon Step is cool. And, uh... What else do we got here? Remains of Horik the Shining have been taken. Do you have anything good? Spider Monarch's leg. That's better than what I have. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat you. Do we have anybody else? We have Ella Grainworth here. Do you have anything good? Ultimately, nothing that we really need. So we're going to use you as a uh, an incubator for spider eggs. I do not envy your wretched fate. Kaya the Vanguard has been captured by me. Hmm. Ooh, you have a spider monarch's leg too. Wonderful. Let's uh let's kill her and eat her. Delightful. Cool, so now I have two spider monarch vanguard legs. Or spider spider monarch legs, not vanguard. Uh, and of course we're going to give one of these to Cenarix, because that's kind of her thing. So I'm going to give up the Spider Hatchling Bell. She's got enough active abilities. So I don't need to give her a new one. So we'll just replace one of them. So, Spider Monarch Leg. Who else deserves a Spider Monarch Leg? Because that seemed to summon one of the, the big, like, matriarchs, which is which is pretty good. Uh, one that doesn't often end up in close combat immediately. I mean, could be you. Could be you. Wand of Healing. You don't need that. You're not a healer. I can give you this. Damn it. Wrong, wrong thing. Now you, can, you have three spiders to summon. It's basically all she's going to do. Oh, and she leveled up. So Asha the Revenant has leveled up. Let's see what we're going to give her. Let's give her Leaden Blows. Extra melee damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Also inflicts 90 or 90% chance of immobilizing on melee damage. You know, it's more damage. All the damage we can inflict is good. Okay, next battle. We'll have Malisa lead this second wave. As more enemy forces, this time led by a Baylor, which should be a, you know, it's still going to be an easy fight. I could auto-resolve it, but I don't know what a Baylor is, and I want to see what it can do. So, uh, yeah, this is just going to be a, a supremely fighty episode. Also, uh, I would like to point out, uh, I have basically all of the narrative and everything ready for the next campaign, which I'm actually going to start before this one's even done. Because, uh, well, Dragon Dawn came out yesterday, and... I want to get started on that, so that's going to either come out tomorrow or the day after. I'm not sure. kind of depends on how things pan out with uh, my time between work and how exhausted I am. But uh, keep an eye out for that. It's going to have even more narrative structure than this campaign. Like, I've, I started to add in a little bit of narrative uh, at the start of uh, every episode, but it's fairly impromptu narrative. It mostly just serves as a recap for the previous episode. I want to do it a little bit differently. I want to kind of make a little bit more of a story out of it. And there is also more of a story for what the next campaign is going to be. It's going to feature a trio of draconic overlords that and four rebel factions that are uh, attempting to depose the draconic overlords. And we're going to be playing as one of the rebel factions, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um... There will actually be some tie-in with some of the factions in this campaign. Now, it's all taking place in, uh, like, within the canon of my version of this setting. It's all taking place within the same world, but this is going to be taking place on a different region of this world. So you're not going to see all of these factions again. That being said, they might return later for future campaigns, which I will do. So expect a little bit more backstory on a couple of characters. And, of course, quite a few new characters. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are ready for that. Wow, we can just straight up kill them? We can just rush in there and kill them. No, we're going to actually use our new summons. We're going to summon a spider monarch, which is going to be a dread spider matriarch. Awesome. Could web them. Could do that. That's a lot of damage, actually. Uh, let's, let's wait. Because we can drop... I want to be patient. I don't want to take any casualties during these fights. We'll drop a totem. Okay. We're going to drop an egg. And little spiders are going to go and be cannon fodder. You are actually damaged, so I'm pulling you back. And what are you going to do? You're going to drop a totem as well? The question is where? I guess put it there. There is some heat coming from that direction, so I don't mind. This matriarch is going to advance here. This one is just going to advance into web range, basically. Just more or less just one space ahead. I could do some big charges, but no. No, we're gonna we're gonna hold our those troops there. Uh, my wisps can advance. What do I want to shoot at? I think I want to shoot at the hunting spiders, because they can threaten my back line. Um, we have our dread spider matriarch here, which is gonna summon. And our summon is of course going to move up and draw some enemy attention. Mount Issa Shadowbiter, you can summon as well, right? Yeah, you can summon a... Uh, no, you can polymorph. Uh, I mean, that's still kind of good. Polymorph that unit. You don't have any summons? You do. You have a uh, the spider flute as well. Alright. Well, you know what to do. Play that flute. Summon those spiders. You're gonna pull up to here. We'll get some webs in next turn. Uh, this unit has suffered a bit of damage, so we'll keep them back. Summon some more vampire spider hatchlings. We advance over here. And Moloch Shadowbiter is going to summon Ice Spiders. Can you hit them with webs from here already? Not very effectively. So, actually, don't... No, pull up pull up a little, because I want to be able to uh, hit the guys on the walls there. Same with you. Yeah, I can pull, pull these guys here. You right here. That should do it. Right? Do we have anything else that we want to do? Well, there's always despair. Despair is, you know, despair is always a good thing. So I think we're gonna we're gonna sow some despair. The question is, yeah, these are tier three and tier two units. We'll, we'll hit their center. A collapsed center is usually a, uh, a bad thing in a in a war or in a battle. 
So we'll do that. Let our units go into defense and let the enemy make the next move. They can decide where to attack. That's fine. Ah, oh God. Fucking. All right. Baylor pain. <laughs> what the hell is the range on those things? Sniper pigs. Jesus Christ. Ooh, solid damage there, buddy. Alright. Uh, oh, I clicked out, unfortunately. Means I'm now no longer following what the enemy is doing. Okay, they're, they're just trying to pick off some of my troops. They're succeeding, unfortunately. It's attrition, but it's gonna happen. It's a big battle. We're gonna take some damage. Might even lose a unit or two. But I'm going to try and not lose a unit. Aside from, of course, the the expendable cannon fodder that we have summoned. Uh, the enemies are just, like, dying from poison. This is awesome. Okay. Well. They got webbed. You apparently can't move. For some reason. Uh, my giant can just rush in and smash these crows. Bam. Dead. Are you stunned? Like, what's the matter with you? What happened with you? Frozen. Okay, makes sense. All right. Um. Well. Then is it the revenant's turn? Is the revenant gonna do revenanty things? Why don't you move up this way, revenant, and uh, put you right there? Yeah, and then we can just. Kill those sniper pigs and deal ungodly amounts of damage to that unit. And then, and then, watch this. This is going to be hilarious. First off, we'll drop a Reckless Rage. Okay, it's good stuff. And then, we're going to use Sprint. So put us right back there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's unstoppable. Oh man, that was beautiful. That was that was that was just beautiful. That's all I can say. Oh, and they're dead. They're dead too. Webb's just slaughtered. Oh my god, they, this flank is just gone. Okay, go here and smash some barricades. Just wreck this entire place. What about here? You can only hit one unit. That is disappointing. So you're gonna advance there. What about you? Can you hit multiple units? You can. You can hit four enemy units. Do it. Oh yeah, there they go. Immobilized. I think they're all routing also, which is, you know, fair, given what just happened. Given the horror they just saw spreading through their uh, northern flank. I'd be routing too, if I was them. Okay, snipe these goddamn sniper pigs. Can't abide this kind of firepower under uh, enemy control. <laughs> my, uh, my knights. My knights need to deal with this Balor, because that thing absolutely fucking messed us up. It's a lot of damage. And we got some ways that we can deal with the Balor. I mean, I could try and devolve it, stun it. It's not a bad idea. 28% chance, maybe it'll turn into a tier one animal. It resisted, but it's stunned, so good enough for me. Send the knights in. Hopefully we can kill this thing. Uh, let's send our hashlings. They can attack that, that's fine. And our ice spiders here are going to lob some webs up there. I'm amazed that actually hit. Now, hunting spiders are going to lob some webs up there. Now they're dead. And our tyrant knights here are going to charge them or charge the Balor. The Balor is stunned, so I'm going to charge the Balor. Good stuff. And these tyrant knights, unfortunately, can now no longer engage. Classic. Fucking great. All right, well, so it is. Dark knights here. Drop a web there. It's going to friendly fire, unfortunately, which I don't really want. So, ooh, I got my onagers, too. Let's let's actually use those. Could drop an onager shot right there, or I could drop an onager shot right here. It's only... I, I can't land it on top of the tower. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so, I do it there. I hit both of those units, or just one. I think I only hit the one. Hmm. I, you actually have to target a unit with this. Okay, that, that's pretty good, though. That's going to hit two, and it's actually going to dish out some uh, some damage. Here, though, that's a target-rich environment. Um, 
drop it there, so that way we don't have to do any friendly fire, even if we don't care, because it's an expendable unit. I'd still rather keep it alive, if possible. Okay, you're going to advance up to here and jump up top onto the barricade, and you can just gnaw on that barricade while you're at it. And you can gnaw on that barricade while you're at it, and you can go and advance up here. Go defense. Ah, we got more webs that can be lobbed in. Ah, from all the way back there. Never mind. That it that is not going to work. Pull up then. We're gonna we're gonna advance these guys, and then next turn, if the enemy's still there, which I highly doubt, because they look like they're uh they look like they're routing. Which, uh, you know, fair. What can we do here? Magic missile? Magic missile. Oh, that's gonna hit that one. Do it. Cool. And we have our, our L pig here. Everything's advancing. Everything's everything's good in the realm. Hatchlings can't really do much. Dark Knight here? Which which Dark Knight? Ah, that Dark Knight. Alright. Well, I mean we can we can hit the pig, but it doesn't seem worth it. So I'm gonna pull up to there. Go defensive. This Dark Knight can't attack. Of course. It's gonna go defensive. We have our Vampire Spider Matriarch. They're gonna pull up behind and then next turn hopefully drop a, a solid web in. Moloch Shadowbiter. You can kill that unit. Do it. Make them die. Which will give you an extra turn. Which means you can then kill that unit. Or you can shoot that unit. Or I can dish out more damage. The Baylor's stunned, so I don't need to worry about it. I'm gonna kill the, the sniper pigs, because I don't want to deal with the sniper pigs. And you can't attack? No. Can you eat anything nearby? Also no. Alright, end our turn. They are collapsing. It's not going too well for them. Alright. Another one down. They're killing themselves in their own turn, that's great. <laughs> the menace to civilization. Asha the Revenant with their burning axe. I still don't like the double-headed axe design, I'm just not a fan of that. But, uh, you know, for her I make a little bit of an exception. I mean, we're not, she's not, she's not done yet. She is not done yet. You can just teleport right there and make them die. All right, they're dead. You can go again. And then we can... Hold on. Before we do that, let's... move you out of the way. <laughs> and then you can go here. Oh no, it's not gonna kill them. That is a disappointment. Oh well, it's fine. Um, let's send in our Tyrant Knights to kill them. Uh, they're steadfast. Okay, so they can't die. Vampire Hatchlings are going to finish that unit off. They really, really can't die? Okay. Go eat those barricades. You can come up behind them. Deal more damage onto them. Keep them pinned. You can eat those barricades. <laughs> I'm just completely leveling this whole... Uh, <laughs> nothing. Nothing left. Alright, uh, that's, that's, I think, fine over there. What do they have here? Do they have anything of note? Uh, let's send in our hatchlings to go and eat them there. The Baylor must die, so we'll have our Dark Knights deal with that. And, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll win this one, because I don't want to wait a whole turn for that one unit to uh, end its steadfast. So, everything's dead. That's that. The enemy has fallen. I believe that's that's all that's left. We've defeated Korsgul Ulok and taken his city. Uh, we will hold a parade to celebrate our triumph. Sounds good to me. Yeah, Bloodguard is Bloodguard has fallen, and we will migrate it to the Unbeheld because I want this city. And in order to get the city, we are of course going to need to found another city. But we can do that. Easy peasy. So, we have another city slot, and we are going to capture Bloodguard. Of course, Ghoul Ulok has been defeated. He's gone. Uh, we have gained this unit here, a Shield Maiden. I mean, I guess we'll keep them. They look decent. 
and they fit into one of our uh, army slots, so why not? All right, let's move our troops down south, because we are immediately going to start slaughtering their vassals as we make our way south to Orbeld, the Deceiver. So, our troops advance in mass, leaving the burning ruins of Bloodguard behind us. Oh, we didn't even get to use our shadow demons. Living shadows, whatever they're called, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're dead now, or the enemies are dead now, so uh, there's unfortunately nothing for them to feast on. However, looking here, Pox Pit, that's a nice city. Sounds like a lovely place. Uh, I'm going to give them a Whispering Stone, and I'm even going to boost their allegiance so that we can get ahead of uh, Leofric Shale there. Because Pox Pit, that just, you know, with a name like that, that just sounds like a city that um, we could be friends with. Uh, you know, what do we have here? Horn Ward, boring. Nebheim, boring. Gardheim, boring. All these cities are going to burn as we make our way to Kragmar. Stolaria also needs to burn. Yeah, basically everything just needs to burn, except for Pox Pit, because, you know, it's got a good name. It's got a great name. Father Nurgle approves. What have we here? Ah, our Caustic Worm. Baby Caustic Worm. You're going to hold and defend the outpost with your lives. And, uh, yeah, I i don't know. I think uh, this is, this is kind of looking pretty good overall. We have our little uh, ice spiders here. They're going to go and defend the Sacral Infestation. You guys head right on up there. And then we have our hunting spiders army. Let's move down this way. Yeah, we're good. We've acquired some Astral Dew. We've leveled up some more heroes. Who have leveled up? Okay. Uh, Moloch Shadowbiter once again. Good on him. What can we get you? I mean, I uh, more, more damage from range would be good. We don't need to give him Terrifying Aura because he's not in close combat with anything ever. So uh, Swift Feet won't really help. Sprints could work. I guess I can start giving him, because he's like all the way through the ranged three. Oh, Crow Familiar, what the hell? Grimbeak Crow? Sounds awesome. All right. Yeah, we're going to give him one of those. Um, hero has leveled up. Ah, Malisa finally gets your uh, tier four signature skill, which is also going to be Visions of Woe, because you got the whole Oracle mask thing, the eyeless mask on. So uh, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, you're the Oracle in training of... Uh, she was our first... Or a second hero, right? I think so. Because we recruited her before we got Elric Shadowbiter. Alright. Uh, uh, let's give your army some strength training. She's more of a guide. Spell ready. Prelude of Doom. Fantastic. We don't need that right now. So we're just going to hold on to it. And yeah, guys. That, I think, was the episode. I'm just going to end the turn to uh, get things ready for, you know, when I record the next one. But, uh... Yeah, we destroyed two civilizations today. That's good. You know, what did you do today? Oh, man, I kind of wish I could do that in real life. Um, alas, you know, we all have our limitations. <laughs> all in all, looking good. I think uh, in the next episode, yeah, we're going to move south. Uh, I will cut out some of the just pointless movement and busy work to try and expedite the, uh, the campaign. I, I think I want to be able to end this in, like five or six episodes so that way we won't be running two campaigns for too long because of course the uh the dragon dawn campaign will be coming up shortly so stay tuned for that in the meantime i hope you've all uh, enjoyed this if you have do drop this one a like and i thank you once again for your continuous support especially all you guys that have been commenting and uh adding your own little narrative so shout out to uh tnt bones and arnick and uh all the rest of you guys that have been, uh, you know, just coming up with a, hey, this is my head cannon for what happened here. Uh, I love that. It's, it's cool. Uh, sometimes I, I add it directly into the the canon of what's actually happening. Uh, it, it's great. I'm glad that this is sort of a, an interactive story experience with everybody. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be all for today. Catch you in the next one. Ash Herder out.